Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and I'm continuing with my HTML5 project. So uh, we've got our jQuery mobile uh, foundation set up. In the last video we we looked at each uh, line and basically what it does. Let's actually make some changes. We've got a button and we've seen that simply by adding uh, data roles to various elements we can control the the look and behavior of things so this was originally a plain old link we've got a href that's on line 17 it's a link but with data role button data dash role equals quote end quote button it has become a button even with a rollover effect pretty nice so what else can we do I'm gonna edit my line 17 after my last data item is still within the the tag so right after the quote there I will add data dash icon equals quote end quote uh, jQuery mobile has a variety of built-in icons so if you're not a graphic designer you can't make your own icons uh, jQuery mobile has a bunch to choose from here's one that we can use inside the quotes we'll say arrow dash R. This is all lowercase, of course, because it's HTML5 compliant. Uh, you might want to make sure you save that. Remember, always save. And then go back to your web browser and refresh. Now we've got a right facing arrow. So that was data dash icon arrow R. Still works the same as before. Now you got an arrow. I would love the arrow to be on the right side of the button, however, that makes a little more sense. So no problem. We keep editing our our tag here. So data dash icon arrow r space, and we'll do data dash icon pos equals quote end quote. That's data dash icon position. Where shall we pos position the icon? And I'll say right. So save, refresh, and now our icon is on the right looks nice so we have a variety of icons to choose from uh, another example just for fun uh, we can do gear now I have a little gear icon we've got home and it's a home icon we'll take a look at the list of all of the possibilities in a moment uh, but I want to concentrate on something else for the moment we're seeing that we can uh, add icons to our elements pretty easily that's via data icon uh, and its position so jQuery mobile works by using data roles and such extensively I want to create a third page for my project so that's what we'll do on our next video we've got two pages in the project and I want to create a third one so come back for that.